These are ferrets. Or to take a leaf from the army's book, cars scout 4x4 four four, brackets, ferret brackets off. This is a new batch being shaken up on Salisbury Plain. The job of the scout car is liaison and reconnaissance, usually bang up the front line, sniffing out danger. Armored against trouble, they weigh over four tons, but can make 50 miles an hour along the road, or wade unprepared through three foot of water. They are part of Britain's defense. About 2,000 ferrets are with the army from Britain to the Far East. An export too, over 1,500 sold so far to armies of other nations. This is our 1960 Daimler Ferret Mark II-3. We've owned it for about four years where it's been largely forgotten about, parked in the corner of the yard. And before that it was abandoned behind an office where it hadn't run for about eight or nine years. We've not even attempted to start it because we don't know where to begin. And then we met a guy called Ryan. Matt met Ryan at a midget owners club meet. He works at a classic oh, no, car no, garage and has probably got more classic cars than we do. He offered to come down and try and get this big old lump started. Yeah, it stinks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, white spirits. I think it actually, the tank is. The it's tank not a is tank. Inside. Shut it. And as we all have jobs, we can only work on the ferret on an evening. And even then, it was only down to one or two days a week. In fact, this has been going on for so long, we didn't know that in a few weeks' time we were going to be snapping a cam belt in France. Anyway, we need you to get it running. Come on, guys, let's go for curry. It pushed here. My name is it should do. We did soak it with WD, didn't we? Yeah. Absolutely went around everything, but yeah. that was about five, four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So do we think it's free? No I idea. <laughs> it will be. We don't think anything. It will be. There you go, look, it moved. It did not move. No, it didn't move. It did move. Did it? Yeah, it's free. I told you. Yeah. Hi, right. it's free. You told me you said we're back in. It's, it's just a pipe. It's not real. We've got a yeah. battery. It's been here somewhere. Oh, they're under there, look. Oh, you're in there. Oh, yeah. I don't think the batteries are salvageable. No, no, they're way in. But I'm thinking about trying to jump it. It needs uh, a full. Uh, the main thing is the gearbox. You know, it's the gearbox. You've got to make sure the gearbox is in neutral because it's like a semi automatic rubber band thing. You do some research. We're not just going to jump it now, otherwise we could have done that. Well, Three silly bastards. Turn over. No, no, it needs get some oil in bars, get check all spark plugs, put some fresh plugs in it. You'll be lucky. Check oil. Not get plugs. I think they're normal plugs. Yeah. They're suppressed. Mm. I feel the suppressed in this group. No, you feel depressed. I feel suppressed. No, depressed. The, Oppressed. Um, the radio suppressed plugs. What does that mean? So that they don't interfere with any radio gear. I haven't got a stereo in it. Yeah. <laughs> the stereo we're taking out. Have you got some uh, ATF? Yeah. We're not doing it now, I want to drag it out for you. No, yeah, at least we get plugs out and chuck some ATF down it. It's halfway there, isn't it? Oh, well, you crack on them. Exactly, I'm ready. Yeah, plugs are there, look. I can see. Let's go get some. Have you got some uh, oil and we'll spray it around everywhere? <laughs> we have got several. Boxes, penetration oil. 
might need some assess league to warm up some of those injuries as well. I don't know whether we were doing last time with settling. I don't can't remember. No, no we never took no we didn't we just soaked them in oil yeah. but some of them will need a settling water. Yeah. Most powerful car here, probably not to be honest. I've got about 80 off left. I think it's lost all them. 80 ponies. Right. Let's leave him to it and then uh, we'll stay here, mate. Keep him company. There's some nice anyway. spanners, these, aren't they? I like them. Yeah, yeah. Don't lose them. We've got two sets now, thanks yeah. to Mike. Thanks to Mike. <laughs> When you finish with them, can you clean them? Mm. With your tongue. Luckily, I've got a military vehicle. Oh, have you? <laughs> and when this is done, I'll bring it down and we'll park them next to each other. Right. What is it you've got? So it's um, 1943. Uh, standard utility. Right. I have no idea what that looks like. Basically, it's a cross between a, a standard 12, you know, the old like proper. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. And, and a pickup. And a, a pickup with a wooden bed and it, it's sort of got a canvas on it, it looks like old western sort of backs. Mm. You know, like trailers that western. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's sort of a cross between everything, all them. That's right. Um, nice. Is it army or area? Uh, I seem to think it's army. Right. So I know, I know the RF. The RF used to have a lot of standards, didn't mm. they? It's it was for carrying people and um, and shells. Mm. And I'm fairly certain it's, it's got a regiment on it, and if I remember right, it's London Regiment. Mm. Nice screwdrivers. One weird looking rotor arm mm -hmm. with a limiter on it. That's your governor, that's your governor limiter. I wonder if you can order them. <laughs> no. Unfortunately, that is it. That's what David told me about at work. It's got two sets of points. You've only got three lobes on the cam. On the thing. Whereas normally we're six cylinders, you'd have six. Yeah. With this, you've only got three. Three. You've got two and points. And it's doubled up. Yeah. Yes, they are unusual looking. Yeah. The final thing we did on this first day was to drain the tank of fuel. Which I didn't film because I thought you'd all think it'd be boring.
Right, I know which one's throttle is. Yeah, you don't need that. Arrgh. Uh, button on dash, left hand side. Which button? That one. Oh, no, Start. No, the one underneath the red light. Oh, yeah. Turn that one notch anti clockwise to ignition. And then start, you just pull down on that other one there. Which one? Underneath the yellow light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just pull that down. I'm doing it now, am I? No. Hang on a minute, what if you set some fire with me in here? You'll be alright. We don't care. I won't be! Go on. Yep. Go on. Yep, jump out. That won't do out. Huh? It won't do out, battery's dead. Why? How in the fuck is the car be dead? Listen, I've even got one off at Range Rover. Yeah, that's shite. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, hang on a minute. There were two brand new batteries. You know there's a fire right next to the fuel tank, don't you? <laughs> that's on now. Right. Would you like to try it again? Loose as f Little new bucket. Size of the 11s. 15. We'd previously siphoned out all the old fuel and put some new stuff in, and we were hoping that all this cranking would draw it through to the carburetor, but as you can see, that just isn't happening. So we knew that there was a problem somewhere in the fuel system. So we needed to find out where the fuel pump was, is it accessible, is it working, does it need priming, then we can hopefully get it started. But when we bought this thing, it didn't come with a Haynes manual. Ryan took off the fuel line where it goes into the carburetor and as we suspected, it was as dry as a bone. Yeah, it's definitely old. Was that a twat to get out? A twat to get out, man. Don't see why Ryan just didn't get out. So we put the batteries back on charge and then started looking for the fuel pump. Kind of think that's it. Mm. 
That circular thing. Yeah. It's, it's about there. Yeah. It's sort of in right place for where I think the fuel pump is. Pump can remove, be removed by accessing it from under the tank. Remove the battery box and the snubber bracket behind it. With the escape hatch off, it is possible to reach and do the whole job from there. Hello. What's that bit? Is that, oh, that's a tank. Oh, it's, it's under the tank. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you won't be able to reach it, will you? Just like that, you can just see the cylindrical bit of it. Yeah. Uh, if you see the bracket that bolts to the wall. Yeah, it will go tight. Then with the tank, I don't think it's going to be tight. Uh, I don't know, like, it's a f***ing long way away, especially with this oil, oil coolant there. So we can either prime it backwards. Yeah. I would be tempted, if you've got an oil squirter, I'd that be tempted to put some oil down with the top. Then got all to the deep. Lean in there. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Yeah, if you can get that. I can get that off. Can you? Yeah. Oh, the light. Oh, good. Perfect. Here's what? Oh, a lot of fuel pump. Oh, you've found it, have you? It's about f***ing time. I can feel fuel pump. It's not saying. Oh. You got it? I can feel it. Just my arms are too fat. There's a priming button on the side of the pump. Ryan started squeezing it, and we were checking to see whether any fuel was coming out, and it was still dry. Plan B was for Ryan to start sucking it through. Yeah, you have to suck through, checking fuel, and uh, filter the light. Did you fill, did you fill, fill bowl up? You put filter in? Fill it out yet? So we check it and then fill it up. It's not a good sucking action. It is, but if it's yeah. remarkable, isn't it? It's, it's, it's only, maybe it's only good for small things. If you were involved, it, we'd have no chance. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we are filming a, a child-friendly um, episode. <laughs> <laughs> It to my kids. I'm just going to um, do a recording got, of Barry White over this. Have you got, have you got a lighter? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of excitement. <laughs> you know what? It took for this long before something comes out. Does it taste funny as I well? I think. Yeah. Check that. Get a fuel filter in. Fill it up from there. The thing is, it's ended up in it, so it might like we might to push it down. Despite what we thought earlier, service parts are still available for the ferret. So we'd ordered um, some spark plugs and a fuel filter. Oh, fuel coming out. Nice. Usually for small handles. Yeah, sure you can tell. Yeah, there's not a lot of fuel in there anyway. Totally different filter to the one that I've got. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It is, but oh, it's, it's not. Inside. It's inside there. Yeah. yeah. It's got. It has got tank fuel in there, though. 
Right. You can smell the difference between old fuel that's between. You can smell the difference between the old fuel that's in the pipes and the new fuel that is in the tank. Um, it's really washing out there. It's very clean up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is it my pipe pole? I want to straighten it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, my pipe! You were trapped around this! Oh, you had one job! Are you excited for me? No, it's just um, whatever's in. Gravity. It's what's called gravity fed. Oh, they don't teach you fucking gravity at your school nowadays. Oh. You cockhead! <laughs> Finish with new lights. Mm. They're extremely useful. Oh, look at that. They're not as bright as I thought. No. Are they? No. But, um, they're not bad, are they? No, that's better. Oh, I see it. Which way does it go? No, it was Matt's turn to do the priming. There's a brake pipe in there. It's quite annoying, isn't it? I'm not going to get my chuff in there. Massive. I'm hoping. You're clearly faking it, Matthew. Yeah, I'm definitely had one out. Now, I need some, I need a pull, I need a pusher stick. Right, I'm pumping. Towards the lock. Yes. Go on, Ooh. Go on, keep going. Oh, whoa, Yo. stop. Right, press. You're pressing. You feel some resistance yet? Not hard yet. No. Not playing with it hard enough. Right, guys. Go on.
you don't say that. Put your foot on throttle, it doesn't work. Batteries are just too too flat. Yeah. Right. Oh, am I supposed to spread it in there? Yeah. Oh, I'll spread it in the other one. It. Spread it in the other one. Which one? In other there. One. Yeah. No, oh, good. Well, I'm driving it. into a car. I just. We, should, we need to put an uh, air filter thingy back on. I reckon it's going to be running too. What do you think? Too lean? Well, it fucking, well, I think it's running too lean. Nah. But it's backfiring out of the cab. Yeah, it's not. That's it. No, shit. Smart ass. The next time we met, Ryan took the top off the carb and gave it a good clean out. Unfortunately, I wasn't there to film it, but luckily Matt was. Does it again? Stinks a bit. If you can find reverse, has he got front lights? The right lights work. I have no idea. I thought they did front lights. I thought you got them working. Got some lights. No, go on. I thought you had front lights. No, I'm sure you had them working the other day. Huh? 
Oh, there you go. That's that here. That's what breaks. Oh, break. Just put that behind wheels. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. I'm pretty sure that's moving. when you need him. Go down that way. <laughs> Drive down there and turn round. Don't be such a pussy. Think back brakes stuff. Oh f We've got fluid. Fishing something out. <laughs> Some right creaking off that back wheel. Well, yeah, yeah, but only that, only that one. Now, I'll pay good money to see Mike drive that round yard. Yeah. Oh man. He did, and he's still not paid me. When we met up a couple of days later, Ryan was raring to take it for a spin around the yard. So this is the first proper drive in over a decade. Right, your clutch is not like a normal car. Ryan had to give us all a tutorial on this gearbox. The ferret has a pre selector gearbox. The defining characteristic of a pre selector gearbox is that the manual gear shift lever is used to pre select the next gear to be used in advance. Then a separate control, a gear change foot pedal, normally the left pedal installed in place of the usual clutch pedal, is used to engage the gear in one single operation without the need to work a manual clutch. Thank you Wikipedia. So on the right there, that's the gear selector. On the left there's a forward and reverse lever and this means the ferret can go just as fast in reverse as it can going forward. Let's pause Matt's driving lesson for a moment and go over to Matthew Taylor who's got a Daimler ferret, doesn't live that far away from us and took us out for a spin. On the left you can see that lever with the red knob, that's the forward and reverse lever. He's currently in reverse, reversing down his drive and as you can see it's a little bit awkward to see out of.
keep an eye on his left leg when he selects gear. Meanwhile, pull it into that and then dip the clutch down and up. Yeah, so, yeah, and then, yeah, so you start off obviously in first. Yes, you can take your foot off, it won't yes. move anywhere. Yes, and then once you've got it rolling, drop that into second, then press the clutch down and off, and then you can just accelerate like an automatic. Right, uh, yeah, so that's neutral there. Yes, it's off second. The clutch height will change again. Yeah, yeah, halfway. Yeah. yeah. And then press it down for neutral. Right. Yeah. So now we're in neutral. Yep. Neutral. I can fire it up. Fire it up. Where do you turn it? Theory. Ignition. No. Next one. That one. Twist that one anti clockwise. Other way. Red lights on. And yeah. then you just flick that one down. Oh, yeah. Keeping it. Take some. Don't have to give you a core workout when you're steering. Jesus, Jesus wet. Get some new tyres ordered. Ryan, you start to trip it up down. Clean up brakes and kitchens off. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Have you got no brakes on it at the moment? No, and he has got them. I think they're. I think they're binding. Old leakage is stuck. I think. So. Yeah. And then it was Simon's turn. Yeah, right. Height changes. Yeah. Height changes again first. Ah, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you lift off you sort of like a normal clutch. Yeah. Uh, but it won't go anywhere. Yeah. Until you accelerate. Yeah. So you start back in neutral with clutch back on floor. Trademarking, you're back at it. <laughs> 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 I think there's a bit of an issue with being running on choke all the time and also breaks between. I think we don't, we don't know it's been run with that cable in the past. It's only matter of running it with a choke all the time. All the time, maybe. And that's why it's smoking because it's all chuffing gummed up. We put new plugs in. No, I haven't put new plugs in, have we? So, what does this lever do, aren't we? That's yeah, fire cannon. Oh, right, yeah. Remember the water that was dripping out from underneath the engine, and we thought it was coolant. Well, it was just water that was gathering on the plate underneath the engine. So Ryan came up with a novel way of draining it all. I saw the stone come 
quadrants are. But any mini now. So we kept going cross and cross and cross and cross. No, so you can start it there, and then it was my turn sorry, to have no, a go. Sorry, and yeah, it's harder than it looks. Did it come out of running down on low on fuel? No, it's, it's just not happening. It's, it's just yeah. clutch. It just cooled down a bit. Do you want more chill? Uh, can I give you a little bit more chill? Yeah, okay. Right now. That's what it was like for me when I was driving it. Yeah. It just bogged down. When you had it, you must have had it just sweet. Well, I think no, because mine had been thrashed, didn't it? You need to turn the job down. Oh, Cyclops is coming towards us. <laughs> and then Ryan showed us how to do it properly. No. <laughs> Honestly. No. I never thought we'd see this one in. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please share it with Borders Biscuits because we still want them to sponsor us.